a DIY. So I just got back food, but I just decided to just get the smokes and picked up a bunch of wood. Uh, got a strong plastic bag that needs that someone spilled coffee on. A nice uh, small container. So I got to actually wa wash this stuff. Actually wa wash this stuff. I uh, got a Starbucks cup with the lid and this uh, pretty much a piece of rope and it had like an extra bag inside something maybe the, the, sh the shoulder uh, some velcro and can't wait to see it cleaned up so yeah I've got a few things I got a free picture also I kind of found like this little piece of plastic I might use it for like braces for the, I might be able to use it for molding dentures. And I found a, n a nice small gum container. Um, and that's most of the stuff. And I bought like, uh, yeah, you know, I had to go and buy a lighter, I guess. So, another lighter. And um, yeah, pretty much the plastic bolt and a rock and a empty plastic bag so it's a uh, Saturday and Amazon did send me a notification but only half of my order is coming on time and the other half they still haven't uh, and it's weird because uh, I bought two of one of the products from the same person and they only sent one with one and I'm not sure if anything got mixed up with, but my, yeah, so, uh, yeah, everything's c coming on Tuesday or Wednesday. I've been trying to make this video uh, to kind of update you guys uh, with uh, repairing this phone that I was going to give up a couple of times. And then now something important came up where I'm going to use duct tape. It's not going to be right there. But there, there are a few like uh, double-sided tape places like here, and you kind of see them there, here. I'm gonna actually use duct tape and then put some glue. Uh, I'm gonna probably use um, wood glue, but the power grip it it, it still works pretty nicely, and um, it, it it doesn't like harden as much as wood glue. So it stays uh, kind of rubbery and soft, but I got to redo one of the connectors and things. So I kind of, uh, you know, I, this was completely cleaned up and then uh, I just kind of, uh, re you know, took off the small connector for the uh, uh, rumble motor and things, um, you know, used lotion and started to clean up the click, the, uh, you know, the new case kind of prepped it up. I put uh, wood glue because it hardens a, a little bit more different and things like that. But uh, yeah, I double checked with the uh, upper board and just and that's mainly just heat sink. Like you can kind of see it on this old board. That's mainly just heat, uh, you know thermal paste going there. But I already cut you know prepped up the new board with uh, or you know I took off the old thermal paste. Things like that. I'm gonna before right before I install this stuff, I do have rubbing alcohol to uh, finish this, and basically, um, you know, be pr pretty much prepared, uh, knowing that. Well, I was wrong about that, but I stopped going that way, and then I'm just gonna use duct tape just because it's more safer uh, if if the pads are bare metal and it was grounding but um you know i'm going to pretty much say that i was wrong be safe and say this is just you know if, if i if i'm wrong uh then if the device doesn't power on or, or run right correctly i uh, you know not you know i've watched repair videos and they're not putting aluminum foil between the contacts to ground uh to the chassis uh so, you know, if, if I were to, you know, just ignore, you know, not a hundred percent of what people are doing, then the, the phone would have 
really been but maybe uh you know i'm not to totally confident in a lot of things um but uh yeah I, I did i did have a little success in ordering them and but you know i gotta grow up uh you know with today's times and um it's just uh like you know i i could have you know kind of just take it taking it really slow you know just kind of you know just stored parts and, and not really but you know it, the and, and tested cell phones and things like that but storing parts and you know year after year uh you know the phone starts to you know the phone or even old devices like this ipod it's got a really bad battery and things but um yeah i could actually try to take this apart and just uh be safe and have a complete device uh you know with with all and you know the small screwdriver from an rc kit you can see it's like a toy screwdriver but it really worked hopefully uh this connector right here opens up and that's the apple battery um things like that it was really loose right there but i don't want to lose this screw so i'm, I'm probably going to put that back and uh i'm, I'm probably going to put that back and uh you know so i it just to keep it you know organized for now and then you know keeping you know i got like i find like all types uh you know things uh soldering or you know there's Basically, a so it's in there. I just didn't even hear it. I didn't hear it at all. It's like it's like uh, you know, like when when you like gonna be ordering pizza, and I kind of just put, you know, lay the pizza on here, and then you know, in the long. In, in in the long uh, explanation, it's gonna help me solder and do a lot. I need to pretty much organ, uh, you know, it's kind of like stay organized, uh, just because of you know, how things can get frustrating and stuff. But just in case I do some more repairs, I'm starting. I'm starting to pretty much have a, a good sense of like how useful this light could be, or um, you know. Uh, uh, you know, things, uh, soldering, or, you know, there's basically a s small soldering station. I know where other soldering items are. So, I got, I have this prepped up for cleaning. I really don't know where to put it, really, except maybe, uh, there. I gotta put this screwdriver away to my small kit. It actually goes over here, and there's other screwdrivers that actually might be for iPhone or iPod, but, um, uh, I didn't get, uh, you know, get a chance to show you guys what was in the mo the, the little small station and things like that. There's still a couple of items in there that might be interesting to show off, but uh, I got most of, the, well, well, most of the electronics, some flashlights, some of my battery chargers, old battery chargers or whatnot. This is actually like a, a couple of uh, testers, continuity testers, basically if there's current inside of a circuit and you know there's 120 240 600 volts uh you know you know uh, and and a pretty good uh a lot of electrical connectors so yeah i can even like sort out a few things in in some of these coffee cans i really like this one because i have the lid to it and stuff but uh yeah small hardwares and things comes in handy I should kind of like keep a few things, uh, you know, nearby just so that I, I just don't like over, over get frustrated. Like, I don't want to do it like, so yeah, uh, oh yeah, this is what I want to, uh, I have, I, I found this maybe like a year ago or something, but I just never came around or, you know, these little small Dremels, I think they're just for like a, a some type of, a. Random stuff.
for now, I might, I'm probably going to use actually like shoe goo, seems, or, or super glue. So I'm kind of like mixing and matching a few things. I try, sh the shoe goo is actually, it does harder, like I have like a plastic cup that does have some adhesive, uh, all, all three types of adhesive uh, kind of mixed together and things, so kind of use that. Uh, right before I uh, make duct tape, turn duct tape into a, a double sided tape, I actually bought, it, it was only, I mean, I got the largest rolls, like, you know, 64 feet, you know, 50, et cetera, et cetera. The thickness uh, was a part of two millimeters, two, three, five, and ten millimeters. So I got four different rolls for like twenty dollars. Uh, you know, I, I I basically, you know, started to, you know, I used to buy like the plastic packing tape. And then kind of going back, this actually would, you would think that it's like a pizza bag, but it's a crop in stock. Maybe it is a pizza bag, but yeah, it's missing the uh, shoulder rope and things. I'm going to use like a, you know, if I, I if, they, they definitely sell ropes at the hardware store, so I might pick up some extra just because... I have a few duffel bags, and also I could tie duffel bags together, but yeah, I've got to get my small drill bits. I bought a pack of Warrior drill bits that are going to, and then plot out a few of these, uh, you know, drill holes so that I could pretty much sew and glue back, but just uh, any, like, complete, like, parts of this that is cracked but then I could you know repair it I'm going to do that so uh, so this is gonna be you know I'm working on this repair too so it's gonna really be pretty uh, efficient and you know kind of make yeah and you know just even like getting to this point you know I had to clean up a lot of stuff and we organize know where things may or may not go you know test a few things and you know it's been a really cool uh you know interesting channel uh you know situation for me i hope you guys have a good holiday season and i'll see you on the next upside diy